be creating a slide, inserting a text box into the slide, and then selecting that slide and showing you how you can update the text within the slide. That's all coming up. In this lesson, we're gonna be making a slide. So make a new function and just call it make slides. And then we need to get the presentation that we're gonna be using. So using the slide app service, and then we create a slide. It needs a string value. So I'm gonna create a slide called Lawrence test. And within the slides, we wanna get the first slide that we have within the slides presentation. And we can do that by using the get slides. So by default, there's always gonna be one slide. And if we wanna get that to edit it, we can select it this way. And then within the slide itself, there's a number of options here. So let's just go ahead and we're gonna insert a text box. And within the text, so this can just be title, so whatever string text that we wanna enter in. And then we can also position it. So left position, and we can also do a top position on within the slide. That text, so get the text object. And then we can set the text and then here we can update whatever the text is within the slide. Go ahead and insert a text box and then it's expecting a string value of the text box. You can also set the left and top position. So if we want it in temp 10 and we can also set the width and the height. So whatever we wanted for the width and the height of that text box. So run the code and now we go out to the drive and this should be the new slide that we've just created. So we open that up and there is our text box that was inserted in that position and with the dimensions that we set. So those were rather small. So we could also make it bigger if we wanted to as well. Give it a new name and run it again. So we go out to the drive and within the drive, there's our new slide that we created. So this one's a little bit bigger for a text box. We can also get the page elements that are currently within that page. So within that print, particular slide as we know that by default it automatically sets them slide and then we use the get page elements and we can also do page elements by ID and let's uh, check out what we get for the elements and actually let's do a separate function here where we're going to actually update the slides so that will update the slides and update that so instead of creating it it's going to use the slide app and then it's going to open by ID. So we just need to have the ID of the slide that we want to use. So let's go ahead and we're going to select the ID from the web URL. And this will give us the ID so that we can open up that slide that we just created. We don't have to constantly create brand new slides. And then from there, we can get the elements. So we've got the slides. So we're just picking up the first slide. We're not going to be inserting the box, but we're going to be updating the slides. Select the elements that or the shapes that we have within each one of the slides or within the slide itself. So we can do that by using the get shapes method. So that's going to return back all of the elements that are shapes. And then we can iterate through them using the for each method. And that's going to return back each one of those elements. And then now let's just uh, log out the element and elements and we can use a get text to return back the text of the element. So run through the up slides and that gives us a text range. And once we have a text range, we can actually do a replace of the text. So looking for a particular text value and then making a replacement from that. We can also return it back as a string so as a string as well. So let's uh, get the text as a string. So this is just uh, info. And then here we've got the value there that we've created. So we can also set the text of each one of these elements. So if we check in, if it's got a value of a string, we take the text and we're gonna do a replace of that text. So do a replace all text. And then it requires the two parameters. So the value that we're trying to replace. And if it's got the text Lawrence and what we want to replace it from, and just replace it with a mister. 
So let's run through and we'll see what we've got there. So it just updated that to Mr. Uh, Svekis whenever it found the instance of Lawrence. So that's how you can select the slides and even update the contents of the slides using Google Apps Script.